Hello, tangueros and tangueras from all over the world. Welcome to Patricio Saneva Tango Class. Patricio is coming here to join me, and today we are going to change the series. We have a new series, Tango Musicality. This is the lesson that will change the way you dance to the Sarli. And everything else. I almost say, yeah, <laughs> I'm almost ready to say this is the way, this is the lesson that will change the way you dance tango. I, I know. But I don't dare to say, so I say this is the lesson, the Sarli. Okay, good, good enough, fair enough. Oh, yes, <laughs> this is the definitive tango lesson. If you're in an island and you're by yourself and you have one hour battery on your phone and you can only watch one tango video, if I were you, I, it would be this one. Good. Let's see. Really? Because you, you will... Now, uh, now we actually start sort of now pressure. Now I'm stuck. I better <laughs> did something amazing. <laughs> well... well. well I, we, we, I no, but you know, any of that. No, it's cool, but you know, for this... All of these years teaching, I mean, one of the recurrent things that people really struggle the most sometimes seems is not the actual steps, it's actually how to yes. use them wisely yes. with the music, you know, how. so. Yes, not know. what, how. How. Yes. The how. You say it. It's <laughs> yes. the how, mm -hmm. that, that, not the what. Exactly. Regardless of what you do, it's how you do it. How. And yeah. hopefully today we can help you understand the context of the phrasing with the tango, uh, with the tango tempo, right? Because the tempo or, or the, the walking uh, is not the phrasing. And sometimes we are slaves of the music, meaning if the music has a steady punch, a steady rhythm, we will get pushed into it and then we will start marching. And when the, the, we dance, and then the dance doesn't never stop. It doesn't breathe. It doesn't have a pace. It doesn't have punctuation. If you're reading a book without commas and without periods and without separations of ideas, you will not know what it meant. Mm -hmm. You will not know when to stop and you will suffocate yourself. Periods, commas, um, and other punctuations help us breathe and digest the information. And mm -hmm. the same way we can do when we're putting it out. So what we're going to teach today is that and this is not clickbait. But it really is. <laughs> what we're going to teach today is going to help you fall into uh, sections, to sectionize your dance. So you don't think of it as a one gigantic thing that you have to do, but you look at it a uh, hundred little things that you can do one after another. And we all can do little things. It's easy to do something little, uh, like a small project. You take just one step, and then you take another thing, and another thing, and another thing, and at the end, you will build a dance. One step at a time. And then you will build a tanda, because mm -hmm. a tanda is several dances. So, but you take one step at a time. Yes. Yeah, and the good thing about today's in part, today in particular is that lead and follow, you can even practice this by yourself, put in any music, any song you like, and try what we are going to do today by yourself. You don't even need to try the step with anybody. You know, it's, it's just in, you need to internalize these ideas. So then when you move, you can actually move this way, you know, so, yeah. The first thing that I want to establish is that we have three speeds traditionally in mm -hmm. the dance. We have, um, let's say, medium, slow, and fast. Normally, we move, we walk at the speed medium, which with, is with every other beat, or two times, uh, every two beats. That's like a, the default, the default way we walk. That's the default way we walk, yeah. right? If we walk, when we say the tempo or the walk, yeah. it's like one, two, three, four. But we hear a lot more things happening, right? Mm. And what is the first thing we need to understand? Tango is a four, four. Four on top. A, a line and then another four. And that means four denomination, which means a quarter, uh, a quarter figure, uh, or, and the quantity four. So we have three values. One is the round or the full note, which is once every four beats, right? So we got one, two, three, four. This is the whole note, meaning 
four beats. Mm -hmm. So the sound will be ba. The duration is the entire bar, four beats, one figure, round figure or full note. Then we have a half a note, and that means we do pa pa. The duration is two beats, and in four beats we can fit two, two half notes. Right? If our full is four, then two plus two is two halves. And then we have the nomination four, which is a, a, a quarter note, a quarter of a note. So if a note was... I need some graphic design here. Uh, <laughs> if, a, if a note was... A full note, four quarter notes will be this. Ba, 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 ba. And those are the three speeds in which we will move. We start on default. That's why we have what we call the eight count basic. And now it makes sense, right? If you happen to begin this moving on a one, you will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because whoever came up with this wanted your basic step to fit in what we call one phrase. <laughs> one phrase for tango dancers is four times, can you put four, two hands like that? It's four times four. Let's come closer to them. Four times four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tango dancers like to count to eight. So we will count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. And the first task I want to give you for understanding the phrasing is that you will dance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. And then you will stop. Six, seven, eight. That is what you need to stick to. So let's demonstrate. This is for you to do now or when we finish the class. Mm -hmm. I will count the beats, although I'm walking on medium speed. So this is how we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Do you see what's happening? We walk on one, three, five, seven. Mm -hmm. Then again on one, three, five, and seven. How many steps did we do? Eight. That means we alternate. We skip a bit. Notice, please, that we are opening on one, brushing on two, opening on three, brushing on four. You have to practice this until you can internalize the sensation of going in the groove of one, three, five, and seven. Right, because also we want some certain continuity. It's not like robot one, two. We don't want to walk choppy, so. No, they can work their way up to it. If it's choppy Correct. at the beginning, it looks cute, you will understand, you're doing your best, then you're gonna take away the choppiness, and you can then walk through it like you're on a treadmill, like it's a timeline. You don't stop, you just continue, mm -hmm. right? But you acknowledge what's happening. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, Two, three, five, seven. So I can count two times eight or one times 16. It does not matter. Some people like to go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Hmm. Fine. The goal here will be that in the first exercise, you do seven steps, skip the eight if you're counting your steps. So that will Let's be, show this. that will be one, two, Three, four, five, six, 
seven, skip the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, don't step on eight, one. Meaning you brush from the seven through eight all the way to one. What is this happening then when we do that? You are then stepping on slow speed. And slow speed is not one every two beats. It's one every four beats. Mm -hmm. That means you're going to step in 16 beats, you're going to step only four times. And that means you're going to step only on the one or, or on the five. If you come to eight, you, can, you will step on one or on five. Those happen to be accents and they happen to be the moments in which the beginning of the bar happens. So it's a strong moment. And that it goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see, we step on one, present the foot, transfer somehow a, a percentage of the weight, but then we continue brushing, bringing it in, moving aerially, not on the, on the foot level, but with the body, until we go again on five, six, seven. It does not mean, like you said earlier, that we will freeze, mm -hmm. freeze, freeze. That's not the idea. The idea is that the body continues to move. Mm -hmm. So basically that's what we want. We want you to go at medium speed from 1 to uh, 15 or from 1 to 8 plus 5 and then at the last one you go once per bar. So you go 1, 3, 5, 7, 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8 and you stay during 6, 7, 8. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to add anything else. We should this show is the it. first exercise. Yeah. And I think uh, it will be very clear once we do it. DJ, do you have the music ready? Okay. Okay. So we should then go for it. This is a little bit experimental, like a lot of the things that we do. So what we're going to do is have a little bit audio in the studio mm. so we can talk over. Okay. This is a Disarly song. It's called Nada. Uh, and uh, this song is very clear. It has a... Four, one, two, three, four. So there's one sound and then we start counting, okay? So we're gonna leave normally 16 up in the air or 32 up in the air. So we feel like we initiate the dance at the beginning of a phrase, at the beginning of a, of a first phrase where the singer is introducing a new paragraph and the lyrics or a new story. Uh, you know, you, it's because this is answer, Question, answer, question, answer. You don't want to start in the answer. It goes up and down, up and down. You want to start on the up side of the, of the, of the phrasing. Is that right, DJ? Yes, you agree with it, right? Let's listen to this. One, two, three, five, seven, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, five. Seven, eight, one, three, five, seven, one, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, three, five, seven, one, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, three, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, five, six, one, two, three, five, six, seven, two, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, one, three, five, seven, one, three, five, six, seven, eight. Nunca volverás si me han dicho que te has ido. Cuánta nieve hay en mi alma, qué silencio hay en tu puerta. Al llegar hasta el umbral, un candado de dolor me detuvo el corazón. La banda la tiene en tu casa natal, solo te dañas que te que el rosal. Tampoco existe y 
que seguro que se ha muerto al irte tú Todo es una cruz La banda da más que tristeza y quietud Nadie que me diga si vives aún ¿Dónde estás para decirte que hoy he vuelto arrepentido a buscar tu amor? Wasn't that beautiful? Thank you, DJ. That was a great song. Volume is up. Spot yeah. on. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, volume is up. And that I think fun. we did not have any um, feedback coming out in the speakers. I don't think so. If this we studio so. has a weakness, is the audio. <laughs> uh, two weeks ago, we had to pull one of our uh, videos out of the air because we noticed that our um, microphones just suddenly died and we were 20 minutes into the lesson we didn't have any audio uh, that was very frustrating we had to uh, pack our stuff and go home and we left you without a video so sorry about that but we are trying to do the best we can if we have one thing is love love for this dance and dedication to be here for you every week are but we there is one thing that you could do if you want to support our channel yeah of course we, you can always support our channel. We, we always appreciate you support your donations to burn more paper. It really helps us keep going forward and sharing these videos with you, our knowledge with you, so you dance better and better every day. And if you cannot donate, please subscribe to our channel, comment, like our videos. That helps us a lot too. Okay, so we bring other people Yes, there are many ways of reaching us. As, we are, as you know, we're trying to be in many platforms. We have our Patreon account, and that is a good way to uh, channel your support if you want to do it regularly uh, on a monthly basis. Yeah. Eva is producing uh, conditioning uh, uh, tango technique for uh, tango dancers videos that she's uploading weekly. And we are also adding all our YouTube uh, library onto um, Patreon. So it's an easy place where you can find everything. We are receiving uh, letters. I received a very inspiring letter from our friend Ulrich in uh, Austria. Uh, they are going to Argentina. They say they are enjoying the dance thanks to our videos because they used to uh, maybe you know, fight a little bit about how to do the gancho, how to do the boleo, but now they don't anymore. They enjoy dancing together and now they're going to go to Argentina. So Ulrich sent me a video, a message asking about where to go learn tango in Argentina. And we, we couldn't be happier to hear that our videos are of inspiration to you uh, or to anybody else out there in the world. That's the main reason why we are here sharing. We cannot hold all this tango for ourselves, so we have to share it with, with you guys. So thanks for being here. Subscribe and you have to click, everybody says on the internet, smash the notification bell, they say. That's what they say. Smash the bell, they say. <laughs> I'm tired of hearing that. But guys, you should hit the bell because then that sends you an email when we are live. If you want to catch it live, yeah. then you will know when Correct. that happens. Yeah. Right? So for this season, we are producing videos weekly and we got lots of surprises for the winter and what's coming up. Now, you got the exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. And then you five, you hold six, seven, eight, although you continue to count. But you see, if you see that dance that we did, five, six, seven, eight, the second time we do it, we always try to fill out the music with that only step or that only motion. As I say at the beginning, we don't stop completely, we don't freeze completely. It's like we come slow motion at a facade. Okay, so that's what you want to do. And if you don't have a good walking technique, it must be difficult. So you might need to practice your walking technique because then it means that if you need to do, yes. you need to do five, 
five, six, seven, eight, I mean, if it needs to last all of that time, you better know where your hips are, where your legs are. So by the moment you actually transfer, you can control this transfer of weight without the need of being here or there. Yeah, and yeah? that so. is a reality check. It's kind of like humbling, you know? Mm -hmm. If you cannot sustain a movement with a weight transfer from one leg to another, for four beats, that means you either have certain stiffness in some joints, you're not incorporating all the body parts that you need, uh, or you need to maybe hit the gym and work out a little bit on the strength. Whatever it is, it will come apparent when you are trying to stick to the control. Control, because one thing is to, when the tango takes you, and another thing is to take your tango where you want it to be. And there, you have to have a little bit of both. Sometimes you let the tango take you and improvise and take you to places where, oh, okay, some spontaneity, but the technique is the language of your interpretation. The better your technique is, the, the better you will express yourself. Yeah, and this is very important for the follow too, because I have this feeling through all of this year that sometimes follows are more passive when, in, when dancing, like they are more like, you know, responsive to the leads, uh, um, lead, lead. The least know, lead. The least lead. That's confusing. Yes, the least lead, yes. <laughs> okay. The leader's lead. The leader's lead. Okay. Or leader's indication. You could say. Exactly. So uh, sometimes we become a little bit like we don't really develop this um, musicality in our inner self. It's very important that we dance with the music. Is both of us. So your partner, you, and the music. And the music is what we connect both of us to. It's not only the lead, and we just are a satellite of that. We are connected to the music as well. That um, is deep. That's, that's a very deep... Um, I think it's very important <laughs> to, yeah. to, to understand this. Um, because then, for example, if you are one of the followers that feel like you don't know how to do embellishment, you don't feel like confident to do them, sometimes it can't because of the musicality is not present. Sometimes you connect to the music, things that are happening in your body and embellishments and things like that makes more sense because you are connected right there at that particular moment and you decide right there on the spot what to do. You know, it's something that comes from the music. You know, it's not just like, I just want to do this without any connection with anything. You know, usually it's connected to the music. It's so important that you open your ears so you connect to the music and to your partner. Well, the rhythm and the tempo uh, and the timing of the dance uh, set uh, expectation. If, so if we are delivering this in uh, beats, I'd expect in intervals of beats that are consecutive and you can expect that they will repeat themselves in length and, and spacing, then th I would expect that your responsiveness will fit into one of the beat. You move on one beat, then on the next beat, and then on the next one. Not anywhere in between. So sometimes leads or follows act off the beat, right? So you do one step per beat, or one, one step every two beats, but you respect the intervals. You cannot be somewhere nearby. You have to be precisely on top of the beats. Mm -hmm. There is not some, something like a early landing or late landing or early checkout or late checkout. No, you're either on the music or off the music. You're going to be near the music, <laughs> near the beat. <laughs> yes, I think we start a DJ. Some place. Yes. Some place there. Somewhere <laughs> are, uh, like a... Somewhere no, there. it's not a gradient. It is exact. You either or or, or, or you're off. Mm -hmm. On or off. Yeah. Right? On the beat or off the beat. Crystal clear. Crystal clear, <laughs> yes. What do you say, DJ? Time to dance again. Yeah, more decently. Yes. Okay, well, I think that's a good idea. What song should we dance? So, again, we are working in phrasing today, guys. Okay, next week, we are going to choose another aspect of the musicality. So, slowly, you are going to have all these concepts and interpret the dances. Mm, better, you know, like feel more the music and feeling happier with the interpretation every time you dance.
I would like to introduce one more element to the last part of the phrase. Okay. We recognize the last uh, 16, 17, 18. 15, 16, 17, 18. 15 is our last step, right? We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight. We have three more beats. Mm -hmm. We got two choices. We talked about the slow speed, the medium speed, we didn't talk about the fast speed. The fast speed is every beat, and we rarely tap into that. Mm -hmm. And that will be, if the music is going, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. One, two, three, four, five. That's every beat. Yeah. We normally don't go more than five beats in a row right. without a break. Mm -hmm. And that, when we talk about fast speed, every beat, that's what we people call quick. When people say a quick, Step is a one beat, quick, slow, slow is two beats, mm -hmm. so you see it's slow, 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 and I go quick, 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 quick is one beat, slow is two beats, very slow is four beats. Quick is dancing all the beats basically. Quick is dancing all the beats. That for we example. usually don't do unless we do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 So That's a nice play between speeds. Exactly. I, the three options we are talking about. The beauty about YouTube is that you can go back, <laughs> you have a play bar, you can go back and rewatch that until you get it. If you don't get it, send us messages. This is the beginning of the phrase, the series of musicality will have more ultimate classes. Now we go with one more tango by Pugliese DJ is ready to go. Yes, see. Okay, well, then let's do it. Uh-oh, I don't hear it. There you go. Two, three, five, six, one. It's not good, not good. It's DJ, come on. Okay, sorry. Yeah, no problem. So I want to finalize this idea. I was going to do it with music, but I don't think it's going to work. DJ, ready? Okay. So when you get to those five, six, seven, eight at the end, you have two choices now. One choice is to slow down completely and go five, six, seven, eight until you close. Or the other option will be to go five, six, seven, eight. And you do a tango close. You go quick, quick, slow. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. That's the idea. You can pause or you can run. Right. DJ, let's do it. Don't mess up this time, okay? Sorry.
five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, Even though we had a ralentando at the end, see at the at the end of the song, the music started yeah. dropping down, but it still kept a good pace to those phrases of sixteens. Yeah. And this good. slowing down that you feel on five, six, seven, eight, or this rush five, six, seven, eight, is an invitation to actually add a little syncopation or to drop it and then enjoy that slow moment. Exactly, and it's good actually to intermingle these things. Because that's yes. when it becomes more playful, your dance, and yes. yeah, richer. On, on every tail, on, on 14, 15, 16, you can go faster or slow. So every 16 beats, there will be something happening in your dance. And then all figures could be adapted to this phrasing. The same with it. It doesn't mean that you're only going to walk and pause. It means that all figures that you construct can have this rhythm. And then, or this phrasing, and then pause in those moments, or rush in those moments. Correct. This is beautiful. I really love this. Next week we will go more with rhythm, with uh, the walking, of the, the speed of the walking, and such. I think this series is going to be, it's going to be tangled to the next level in the entire world. We're going to see millions of dancers after this. I, I'm sure about it. I, I think it's a very nice uh, subject and many people is in search of it. So here we are presenting it to you. Thank you for being there. You follow me so well. Thank you very much. You lead me so well. Sweet. <laughs> bye bye.